Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about the charges screen and this is where you, um, you know, basically apply any charges, uh, stalls, shavings, practice pens, uh, concessions, sponsorships, anything like that that you need to charge for uh, on a settlement. You can do that here in the charges screen. Um, the way these are set up is there's some shortcuts down the bottom here. You'll see cattle work, uh, flag, cattle work, stall, shavings, RV. Those are set up uh, back in the organization in the default side. So if we go back there and go to the show fees, you'll see flag, cattle work, stall, shavings, and RV. And those are the first five. They automatically become shortcuts on the charges page. Anything else you can still charge out for, but it won't be a shortcut. So going back to the charges, and, and you can rearrange these at any time. So if you need to you know, move something up or down or delete one, you can do that and it'll change the order on the charges screen. So going back to charges, um, this is where you know you want to make sure you're in the right show. If you're if you've got access to multiple associations or shows, make sure you're in the right show. Uh, these are the all charges fields. This is a search field once you start entering them and the date range. Now the date range is important because it's only going to display charges for those dates. Over here on the right hand side, you've got your sign up sheets button and your report button. Um, the sign up sheets, if you click that, you can go ahead and create your practice pen sign up sheets. You can make that title anything you want. If you've got different sheets for different pens, you could say pen one, flag one, uh, whatever you want to put on there. You can put the date on there and then it's going to print 20 spaces per sheet. So it's going to number the first one, one through 20. Um, if you want to put in more than that, you can uh, go ahead and create more copies. So if we just create one copy for right now, then here you can see there's the title, practice pen sign up, and then it's going to give you a sheet of 20 on the first page. If you want to print multiple sheets, you can do so by changing however many copies you want, and it's going to consecutively number all, f all those four pages. So. So now you're going to see we've got four pages. The first one goes 1 through 20. Second one starts at 21, keeps going through 40, 60, all the way down to 80. Now let's say you run out. You can just go back and then create a sign-up sheet. Put in the starting number, which you want it to be 81. And then let's just print two more sheets. And that's going to start your sheets with 81 all the way down to 120. If you want to create sign up sheets for an upcoming day, it's not today, simply change the date to whatever future date you want it to be, make the title whatever you want it to be, and it will automatically create the date and the title that you set up there. So that's a quick way to create your sign up sheets. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a charge. There's several ways that you can do it with the buttons down below. If you click the plus new, it'll give you the option to select from the drop down menu any of the charges that, or the fees that have been created. So you can select from any of these. Now to create a shortcut for that, what we're going to do, delete this one. We can also use these shortcuts which is automatically going to apply that charge. So here you can see a flag charge. Um, you can select the date, work number if you want to um, record that and then also the quantity and if it's an RV you can say how many nights or stalls um, and then you can assign this charge by either horse, rider, owner or even notes if you don't know or you know you need to make a note about this that'll show up in the checkout section and is fully searchable so you can search by that um, but for the most part you can either select an owner or a trainer and if we save it's going to automatically pull up that flag charge for Kathleen Moore there then you can search charges for, by all charges or just specific charges. So if I'm searching for flag, obviously I'm going to see that charge. And then the same goes for if you want to create a cattle or a stall charge or shavings, RV. Simply click the shortcut, put in the information that you need. And here we're going to select a trainer. You know, the more information you put in here, the better it'll be, or the easier it'll be for the secretaries to search it or assign these charges. So here we've got rider and owner in there, click save, and now it's created that. Now another way to do it, if, you put, if you're putting in multiple um, charges for the same person or owner, you can just hit the shortcut, 
and you'll see whatever you did last is already over here so you can quickly just click that button without having to type it in and click save if you want to do another one you can quickly just click that button and it'll assign whichever the last owner was over there you can put that over there and like I said the notes will show up as well so if you've got a cattle work and James is working a three-year-old and he wants to put under three-year-old gelding then it's going to show up over here three-year-old gelding and now we can search for any of those fields that we entered over there we can search by horse rider owner or even the notes if we type in three-year-old it's going to pull up just that charge and search by the notes just be sure to always X out of this make sure you're in all charges if you're looking for all charges and make sure the date range is set to the date you want click search and it's going to pull the other ones up if I backdate this you're going to see a bunch of data that's already in here and that's how your charges screen will look when you've got multiple charges put in there now a handy little tool down here you can see exactly at all times how many flags you've got how many stalls cattle works memberships so all your charges are kept down there and those totals will add up each time you put a charge in we can search like I mentioned just by those charges so here are all the flag works if you want to search for cattle works or just the stalls you can do that too and there again you can set your date range you know if you want to change dates it'll just search for those dates now let's say you want to print a report at the end of the day or the end of the show you can do that over here on the right hand side click the report button be sure and select the show that you want to create the report for your date range and then you can include certain keywords or whatever you want to search by uh, and then what we're going to do here if you just group by date and print a summary it's going to print a summary of all the charges so here it's going to show you how many total cattle works how many flag works and it's going to show you by date so that's a quick way to see what charges were applied on what days you can also search detail by group and the detail by group report will show you the different works but it's also going to include the details of who worked what within the dates now if a charge has already been assigned to a settlement but hasn't been paid yet it'll show that it's open you can see a few there and when we click on that it'll take us directly to that settlement and show the open fee so as you can see this settlement has not been paid yet so that fee is, has been assigned but is still open if you want to just see your charges for that particular day just set your date range to the same day starting and ending and these are all the charges that were applied on that day you can create a re summary report and that's going to show you exactly how many charges were created that day okay now instead of sorting by date you can also sort by rider and then we're going to go ahead and do a detailed by group and that's going to show every charge grouped by the trainer so at the top here what you're going to see is some of the charges that did not have a trainer associated with those charges they're going to appear at the top and then you're going to start seeing the trainer names with all their works and that's going to group them all by trainer so if a trainer comes over and says hey I want to see my total practice pen sheet that's how they would see those if you want to see the rider and trainers in list form simply click the list and what that's going to do is it's going to put them all in list form with every charge and that's another quick way to see the charges applied to each trainer now if you want to see the report by owner name you can detail by group click print and then you'll see the unassigned ones at the top that weren't assigned to an owner and you're going to see all the owners with those charges applied to their names it will also give you a full amount down the bottom of all the fees that were charged now let's say you only want to see your flag works you can simply click on the include only and it'll have a drop down of the fees put in flag and you can select multiple so if you're in the practice pen you just want to see flags and cattle works We'll list by trainer, print, and so all you're going to see now are flag and cattle works. 
and that's a handy way of sorting through your charges and creating reports just for certain charges or fees. Now if you accidentally create an empty charge, you got distracted or you saved an empty charge before applying anything, you'll see those show up here. They don't have anything applied to them. So there is no fee associated with this. If you click on, double click on it, you'll see nothing was selected. You can simply delete this one and that'll clear it out. Same with this empty one here. Just delete and clear out. Just make sure that these are all charges that don't have any names associated with them. Every charge should, should have at least a rider, owner or trainer or a note associated with a charge. To create a charge with multiple days or nights, say like a stall or an RV, simply click the charge or the fee, put in how many nights and it's going to automatically calculate what you have in there for the RV charge, assign a name, click save and there's the RV charge. So when we click on that, you'll see the breakdown there, $350. So that's basically it for the charges screen. Uh, once again, you know, if you want to create different shortcuts, you can do that from the organization page in the show fees. And you can move these around and the first five will be created as shortcuts.